Okay, I'm going to take you on a ride along with me on a two-year-old thoroughbred racehorse. As uh, I take him through his paces, um, this is just part of his training before he goes to the racetrack. We got a small track here and we're going to take him around uh, pretty much the same way you take him as if he was on the real racetrack. So he gets used to it, and when he goes to the big track, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, he's going to do about the same stuff. But anyhow, um, I'm asking him to, to uh, travel out. I want him at a trot. Uh, when we, we go to the right on the racetrack, anytime you're going to the right on a racetrack uh, in the U.S., you, go to a, you only walk and trot your horses. Um, you can only canter your horses whenever you're going left. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm trying to get him to uh, step it out on his trot. He's kind of slowing up on me here a little bit, and he's not really quite focused. You can see he's kind of jumping up in the air on me here, trying to. I'm just trying to keep him to going on. I'll be talking to him quite a bit, uh, letting him know what to do. Um, Right now he's still unfocused, so I've decided to turn him around and uh, see if I can take him the other direction to uh, refocus him, get his mind uh, away from being silly. Uh, he's in his adolescent stage, so at this point of the game, um, it's hard to keep him focused. Uh, the more we work with him, the more he'll learn how to focus and keep it. I'm going to keep asking him. To trot out now, and I'm going to try to keep him, keep him there. Uh, I am keeping to. I'm having to pull on the rein and move his head back and forth a little bit to get him on track, to keep him going, and to keep him focused, to keep him from doing silly things. Because he can blow up at any time with me, really, uh, and that's not really what I'm asking. I don't want that. Right now, I'm just asking him to trot. I'll be telling him, kissing at him, uh, giving him a little bit of a cluck, and. When he's doing good, I'll be telling him, good boy, good boy. You, uh, he'll be, I'll be talking to him constantly as I'm going. And whenever he's doing something silly, like right there, I'm probably telling him, quit, quit, be nice, let's go. And I'm trying to urge him on. And, uh, I'm going to try to get him to catch his left lead, which is galloping with his left leg in front of his right leg. And... Uh, I normally I ask him to go with their left leg first because most horses are right leg just like we're right handed yeah, most people are so I try to teach him to go on his left leg first if he doesn't go on his left leg then I slow him up and then I'll keep working at him till he does go on his left leg and then once he hits his left leg we'll uh, just kind of let him uh, run it out a little bit and stretch out with it because I want him to build some strength on that side uh, when he comes around the turn in a race, he'll be coming on that left leg, and uh, it'll make it it'll make it stronger. Right now, he can see he's kind of acting kind of silly with me there, and I'm urging him on, and I'm looking at the left leg to see if he's catching the left leg, and he's still not catching it. Uh, and one of the reasons I'm looking at it right now is because I want him to uh, when he, when I look down and he catches it and I release, then I want him to know that everything is all right. So I'm going to let you, uh, my camera woman, take over from here. This colt does not want to catch a lead. Joe's trying to get this horse to catch his lead. His left lead. Thank you, Andrea, for that good commentary. Um, and we did catch the left lead, as Andrea said, and we're asking him to go on out. Now I'll push him on out. I'll ask him. I'll start driving him now. I'm driving him. I'm asking him to go. I'm giving him a little bit of rain, but I'm not, I don't, you can see him throwing his head, tossing his head back and forth, wanting to act silly with me. Uh, and here as we go by, you'll probably be able to hear me talking to him. talking to him and asking him let's go let's move it on out 
right here on this line this is kind of like running toward the finish line so I'll kind of drive him just a little bit faster right there because I want him to um, I want to imitate a finish line and then I'll slow him up as we hit the turn and then we're going to try to catch our leads again because we're going to go right and he's going to go on to his right lead probably right there and then we're going to come left again and then I want to catch him to catch his left lead which he did okay. and we got him I got him in his left lead but all of a sudden he jumped into his right lead and I can't get him back into his left lead so I figured I'd just run him on out and then catch his, make him catch his left lead as we come around the turn and we're getting ready to hit the turn and we come around the turn he still don't want to catch it so you hit me you see me tap him with my whip on his shoulder and get him to come into his left lead now I'm going to continue to run him on out that left leg is in front of his right He's kind of running on out real nice right there. But I'm going to drive him again, drive him a little faster right here. You probably see me move my arms forward to kind of move him on out. Instead of whipping him or touching him with a whip, I'll kiss at him and move my arms forward and move him on out. Then I'll slow him down around that turn. And we're going to catch some more leads. We're on the right lead now, I believe. And then we're going to get another left lead, which he does really nice got onto that left lead that's called a flying lead change and it real nice and now I'm just gonna run him on out a little bit and then I'm gonna starting to ask him to slow down I'm talking to him right now I'm asking him to slow down slow down big boy slow down slow down and I get him to slow back down a little bit before we hit the turn I'm gonna take him to a fast trot and I'm gonna take him to a fast walk and then I'm gonna turn him and we're going to go back the other way. Now this was the end of his ride. Uh, <clears throat> that was the end of his job for the moment. Uh, I'm just going to let him relax. And let him walk on back to the barn. Uh, we go counterclockwise now. Uh, and uh, so clockwise. So clockwise. And so anyways you'll see me just kind of walking him on now. Now he's kind of walking out all right right there. He slowed up on me right there just at that moment. And you see me put my whip back there and I asked him once. I kind of kissed at him and uh, he didn't uh, go forward. So I kind of took my whip again the second time and I tapped him back there. And it's called flagging him. The first time was a flag because I just put the whip back there and asked him. He didn't do nothing. So the second, the second time I put the back the whip back there, I just tapped him and he moved on out. Uh, so whenever he gets to the racetrack, he'll understand whenever somebody puts a whip back there, he better move on out uh, if they ask him. So he knows the difference. I try to teach him a lot of little different things before they go to the racetrack uh, I mean it's kind of hard to teach them here because our track is real real short yeah, but uh, they kind of get the basic idea and you know I'm going to trot him out a little bit get him relaxed he just had a pretty nice little workout right there he did real real well uh, you know he tossed his head a little bit but that wasn't too much too bad he's got about two weeks and he'll be ready to go to to the racetrack. I'll gallop him with another horse or two here and get him used to going seeing a horse coming at him in either direction and once he knows how to do that he'll be ready for the track. And now I'm going to go ahead and let him relax. Uh, give him his head and just be a horse because he's coming home. It's over. All the work he did is over with. Now there's no more. I'm not going to bother him no more. I'm just going to ask him to keep on walking. Um, and let him get real nice and relaxed and comfortable. Be a horse. Uh, he did real well. I'll be rubbing on him. I rub on him quite a bit and let him know that he's a good boy. Uh, he did real, really, really well. The praise helps him a whole bunch. Makes him feel a lot better. You can see it in the horse and you can feel it in the horse. Um, I've named this horse Rocky because he's always fighting. He always likes to stand up in his hind legs and do a little bit of boxing every once in a while but for the most part he's a really nice colt and thank you for watching